Hello guys, welcome to SS Multimedia. This is Arjun Kokunda. Today, we will be learning about multiplying two-digit numbers by multiples of 10. Objective. Today, our objective will be understanding how to multiply two-digit numbers by the multiples of 10. Let's start off with me showing you some problems. So now, our first question is 22 times 40. Well, obviously, all of you have saw that there's a rectangle here or a box because we are going to use it. So first, we are going to separate 22 into 20 and 2. So let's draw a line right here. And this part is going to be 20. And this part is going to be a 2. And then we're going to bring the 40 over here. So now, we are going to multiply. 40 times 20. That's still a pretty huge number. But, if you notice, there are two zeros. So we don't have to see that there are zeros over there. So let's just bring the zeros down. So, zeros are already there. Then all we have to worry about is 4 times 2. Well, what is 4 times 2? 6. So there's a 6 right there. Now, this is 600. So now we're going to multiply 20, I mean 40, and 2. So 40 times 2 is, well, we got 4 times 2 over here. We got 4 times 2 over here again. So 4 times 2 is 6, and then we got a 0 here, so let's bring it down. Our answer here is 60. So now we need to add 660. So 600 plus 60 equals 0 plus 0 is 0, 6 plus 0 is 6, and 6 plus nothing is 6. So our answer is 660. Let's write it right here. Now let's go to the second question. Our second question is 37 times 20. Now again, we're going to separate 37 into 30 and 7. So now, let's separate the box or divide it. So this part is going to be 37, or 30, sorry. And this part is going to be 7. And the 20 is going to come here. Now, 20 times 30. That's what we're going to do. So 2 times 3 is 6. And then we're going to bring the zeros down. And then again, we got 600. In this spot, also last time, we got 600. And then now, we have to multiply 20 and 7. So 20 times 7, so 2 times 7 is 14. And then we bring the 0 down, so 140. So now what we'll do is we're going to add again. So 600 plus 140. So 0 plus 0 is 0, 4 plus 0 is 4, 6 plus 1 is 7. So our answer is 740. Let's write it right here. 740. Now let's try one final problem. You obviously saw that there is no box here. Well, that is because we're not going to use a box for this method. What we are going to do is we're just going to multiply like we normally do, but not exactly like that. So now instead of multiplying it normally, we're going to do 73 times 80. So we're going to put the zero aside. The zero is like not there right now. It's just not, we're just looking at this part of the problem. Not this. Let's, let me just remove the circular. Okay, so now 
Let's just bring the zero down over here because we're not looking at it right now. It's just not here. So now what we'll do is eight times three. So I mean eight times 73, sorry. So eight times three is 24. So two goes over there. Four comes down here. And then we're gonna do eight times seven. So eight times seven is 56. And 56 plus 2 is 58. So we're going to write 58 over here. Well, the zero is already here, so there's nothing we need to bring down. Our answer is 5,840. So this is just another easy way to do multiplication problems with multiples of 10. So now, why don't you try these problems by yourself? Take your time. Pause this video. Did you get an answer? Well, now, let's see if it's right. 24 times 30. That's our first problem. So let's go to the rectangle or the box. So problem is 24 times 30. So 24 times 30. Let me change the color real quick. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, again, we're going to separate 24. So it's going to be 20, and it's going to be 4. So se let's separate this, the box. This part is going to be 20. This part is going to be 4. And this is going to become 30. So we're going to do 30 times 20. So 30 times 20. 3 times 2 is 6, and 0 plus 0, or 0 times 0, sorry. We're just going to bring the zeros down. We're not doing 0 times 0. Okay, we got 600 here. And then now, we're going to do 30 times 4. So, 30 times 4. So, what we're going to do is 3 times 4 which is 12, and then we're going to bring the zero down, so 120. So now we're going to add 600 and 120. Zero plus zero is zero, two plus zero is two, and six plus one is seven. So our answer here is 720. So let's go back here, equals 720. So now we're going to do the second question. Our second question is 35 times 20. So let's go back to our box. Now we're going to separate 35 and 20. So 30, this part is going to be 5. So let's divide this in half. This part is going to be for 30 and this part is going to be for 5. And 20 right here. So we're going to multiply 20 and 30, so 20 times 30. We're going to get 2 times 3, which is 6. And then we have two zeros. Let's bring those down. So 600. We're having a lot of 600s today. So now we're going to do 20 times 5. So 20 times 5. I mean, so yeah, now we're going to do 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. Then we have a 0. Let's bring that down. Our answer here is 100. Now, we're going to add 600 and 100. So 600 and 100. So 600 plus 100. There's zeros here. So 0, zeros here. So 0, and then... We have 6 and 1, so 6 plus 1 is 7, so 700. Let's go back here. Our answer equals 700. So now let's do our final problem. 12 times 60. So let's go back here. 12 times 60. So what we'll do is we'll divide or separate, separate, I mean, 12 into 10 and 2. So 
now let's divide the box in half. This part is going to be 10. And this part is going to be 2. So 60 is going to come down here. So our first we're going to do is 60 times 10. So 6 times 1 is 6. And then we have two zeros. Let's bring those down. 600. Again. So now we will do 60 times 2. So 60 times 2 is 6 times 2. We're going to do 6 times 2, which is 12. Then we're going to bring the zeros down. So 60 times 2 is 120. So now we'll add 600 and 120. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. 6 plus 1 is 6. I mean, 6 plus 1 is 7. Sorry. How do I not know what 6 plus 1 is? So now let's go back here. Our answer equals 720. Yeah, two 720s. One here and one here. Here, sorry. Here and here. So now, did all of you, did you get everything right? Well, comment it down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep practicing these problems and you'll perfect them. If you like this video and it helped you out, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more educational videos.